everyone this is Ross and uh, this is an area of the yard I don't normally show you guys it's a bit noisy over here but what you're looking at is an asparagus patch we planted out about five or six asparagus crowns on this side of the fence on the other side of the fence actually is our grapevines so very closely planted is asparagus and grapes and you can see it's coming up now now that we're in the spring I um, mean, I just wanted to take you guys along for this journey and show you guys my first tasting of a homegrown asparagus crown. Now I've heard from a lot of people that homegrown asparagus is nothing like the stuff you get at the store in that it's not very stringy and uh, it's just very good. So. Let's see. That's very good. Wow. It's not stringy at all. You don't have to cook it. It's got good flavor, good asparagus flavor. I would say the flavor is not too different, but then again, this is raw. So imagine if I cooked this <laughs> with olive oil and some garlic, this would be, I'm sure, way better than the store. If I get down deeper here, it does start to get stringy. But that's incredible. The first thing I'm able to harvest in the yard is asparagus. What we've done here, we put some eye hooks in the fence attached a wire to this another eye hook in the fence so that when the asparagus does grow and i let it grow i probably shouldn't harvest as much uh, i shouldn't really harvest much at all from these young plants but when they do end up growing we can kind of keep them contained with this wire and this kind of keeps them against the fence rather than falling down along the ground i'm blown away i'm not gonna lie that was incredible so I want to thank you guys. This is a real short video, but this is full of nutrition. The first vegetable you guys get in the spring, I mean, it's incredible. I'm blown away. All right, guys. Take care. We'll catch you for the, uh, the next video. See you tomorrow.